Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is November 24th of 2018. Let's see, it's Saturday. Uh, I have today coming a new keyboard. I don't need a new keyboard. I, I love keyboards. Always looking for the perfect keyboard. And I, I have the... Uh, DOS keyboard, DAS keyboard, which is a really nice keyboard, except this one is not, not lit. No, there's no lighting for this one. Then I have a, another keyboard. Which one is that that I have is really nice. It's lit, but it doesn't have, let's see here. See this one, and I like keyboards that have a volume control a knob here and the other keyboard is a nice keyboard and uh, but it doesn't have an adjustment you have to hit an F key or whatever to uh, for volume up and down although you may have noticed I do have this thing for audio here also which I can but anyway Uh, so anyway, I'm getting this Logitech G910. I'm using the Logitech, uh, is this the 602? Yeah, this is a G602. And uh, there is software. The Logitech software controls the mouse, your keyboard, the camera, a bunch of stuff, and they work together. So I'm... I'm getting this Logitech G910 today. We'll see how that works out. I'm sure though I'll probably be, uh, you, you may see this keyboard back in operation. Uh, what else is going on? Well, you have, have a little bit of an idea. You see, I'm back using the blue Yeti microphone, and that's working okay, USB microphone. Uh, just using the one Logitech. Uh, Brio uh, camera. Uh, the monitor I'm using is my, I think it's 25 inch, but it's the wide monitor. It's the LG wide monitor. And the reason it works out so well for me, I mean, I have a 4K monitor, a nice one, which would be nice. But this one, with the format of it, 25. 60 by 1080 or whatever I can have as you can see two full 1080 screens you know on here and if you're looking at the, these keys you know they're this thing is uh, it's plastic this uh, keyboard that I'm getting and the keys are really kind of strange and the keys are plastic uh, my other two keyboards uh, are aluminum so I don't know whether I'm gonna like this and then too it looks like the, uh, the keys on here there they've done some really strange stuff with them so I'm not sure if I'll be happy or not with it usually I'm not uh, let's see what else is going on so I have my wide monitor um, Got a good deal on it because I uh, I think because uh, reviews I watched on YouTube of this uh, Logitech G910 they were talking about price of 180 140 or whatever so anyway I, I got it for 90 dollars uh, also I've been playing with this I think this is Azu I think that's what it's called. And I've had it a while. It's uh, a fanless Windows 10 mini desktop PC. And uh, it appears to be really nice. There's a problem though when I got this from the very beginning of not enough disk space to install Windows 10. Now Windows 10 is installed on here, but it's always wanting to install the rest of Windows 10 
and there's no way to do it. So I'm, I'm hoping my grandson, who's he's grown, uh, I'm hoping he's going to help me. I hope he can just set it up for me so that it does. I think a mistake I made right away with this was it said something about upgrade, you know, or whatever, and I should have waited. And I said upgrade, so then it's been trying to install the rest of uh, Windows. So you can sort of use this, and I did yesterday for a few hours. You can use it, but hopefully my grandson will help me with that because he is supposed to, and he, of course it's been for over a week or longer. This is his old, he bought a, all new parts, built a brand new computer. Uh, spent mega bucks for, you know, a couple video cards and all kinds of stuff. This is his old 800 watt power supply and so I have a I don't know whether it's 350 or 400 watts or whatever it's not super powerful so I'm hoping he's going to come over and install this for me I don't think it's going to make any uh, any difference at all uh, because I don't have I do have another video card but it's about the same as the one I have. In fact, I think the one I have in there now is probably better. But uh, I don't know what's going to happen with that. But <clears throat> the video card, the other video card that I have, uh, needs would need more power from a power supply. So I'm not sure if I get this in. I may try the other video card. I was uh, looking for a video card and all of them were uh, $300, $500, $600 or whatever. That's crazy. And uh, But then I just did see one today that popped up on my, you know, because Amazon knows what I've been looking at. And it was a hundred dollar video card, and it was <clears throat> a later model number than what I have in here now. And so maybe there's, I don't know, we'll see what happens. But my computer's okay, and I probably should just leave it alone. Okay, this actually is supposed to be, and I'm going to get to it now. It's not a movie review, but I've set up a play. Oh, I haven't set up that playlist yet. I'm going to. I'm going to start telling you about movies that are online available or whatever that I like. They're not going to be brand new movies that just came out. I have not been to a movie theater. Oh my God. I don't know. Forever. But these are just going to be movies that I happen to like that are available. And so you have an idea if you're watching here what it is. It's The Mighty. And uh, it is now on Hulu. You know, Hulu, really, I have trouble finding things on Hulu. They, if, When they add new, of course, it's been there before, then they've taken it off. And... Uh, Anyway, uh, it says here, you know, the mighty, with this loving and supportive mother, with his loving and supporting mother, 13-year-old Kevin moves into, moves next door to another teen, Max. It says it's a comedy. Uh, the first time I saw it, don't tell anybody. The first time I saw it, I uh, cried my eyes out. So don't tell anybody because that's not real masculine and macho. Uh, so anyway, it is now on Hulu. I've seen it several times. I may watch it again. I don't know. I've seen it so many, I've seen it several times, so many times. There are some movies though that you do like to watch. 
uh, over again. And well, like probably what, met, what the greatest movie may be, Citizen Kane. I watched it once. Great movie. I mean, yes, maybe the greatest movie, you know, uh, because of directing and camera work and things that were done. But I, I, don't, I have no desire to see that movie again ever. I probably watched it twice. Uh, this movie I would probably watch from time to time. Uh, My Dog Skip, another movie I've seen I would watch again. Uh, there's uh, St. Ralph, another movie I would watch. I have watched. Probably I've watched uh, St. Ralph probably ten times or something. Uh, some movies I just like that are worth watching. Some movies I watch now. I would I would prefer that there were new movies that I could, but I have trouble finding. So I'm I'm going to show you a little tiny bit of the tr the trailer. Not the entire. It's two minutes and eighteen seconds, but I'll put this link to the trailer below. I'm also going to put. The Wikipedia link for the Mighty, and I think you probably know. If you don't, warning: when you look at a TV show, or if you're looking up a TV show or a movie or something like that, let's take a movie. The Wikipedia will tell you the entire plot. So if you think you're ever going to watch, if you're curious, you know, why did Jim like it? Why did Jim cry? Or whatever, you can read. Uh, the Wikipedia, but I, I think don't I'm putting this up if somebody, especially in some place where there's no way you're ever going to see this, uh, some place where you can't. But uh, anyway, this is uh, let's see, you can, but don't look at this part. <laughs> but you can go to Wikipedia and see who directed it, who produced it, the screenplay based on the book Freak the Mighty by Rodman Phil Brick and the people in it uh, starring Sharon Stone, Janetta Rollins, Gilligan Anderson, Harry Dean Stanton, uh, Karen Culkin, uh, James Grandiose. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, this is pretty neat. Look at this. See, direct. See, there we go. Sharon Stone. There we go. That's neat. Okay. He really did a good job in that uh, the movie. The guy from The Sopranos. <laughs> anyway, you can go to Wikipedia. Just don't read and don't read the plot. So let me show you a little bit of the. Uh, I just don't want to get flagged for uh, copyright violation or something. I'll just show you a little bit. I'll put the link and you can click it on yourself. There's a place I go in my head sometimes. You don't have to think about anything. When you're in the seventh grade and you look like Godzilla, you're gonna get the looks and you're gonna get the whispers. How do you fail the seventh grade twice in a row? Huh? You can't kill the kid. I have a son you got over here. You notice we have new neighbors? What I heard is her son's been in some kind of special hospital. And that's how it started. Hey, what's the matter? You ever seen a robot? Okay. I think that's it. Uh, but what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to set up a playlist and it's going to be movies. And it'll just be movies like this that I uh, that I like and they may be old movies and you, and you may not end. I may, I'm not sure what I'll call the playlist. Great movies. 
uh, you may not like them at all because that's, you know, people differ. I've got family and friends that like the terrible slicer, people being chopped and, you know, uh, just terrible stuff. Uh, so I have no desire to see any movie e anywhere uh, near that. And I do know a lot of uh, people do like this kind of movie. So I'm, I'm not sure well, if you can think of a name for the playlist. If I put great movies, uh, you're probably going to say, that's not a great movie. But I guess I'll put in there some type of a disclaimer that these just happen to be movies that, you know, that I like. But, so I'm going to have, start putting, because I do watch, I don't watch a lot of TV. I do watch uh, movies from time to time from Netflix, Hulu, uh, Amazon Prime, anybody else? I don't know. Do you have the same problem with Hulu that I, uh, I'll be going looking, trying, trying to find something to watch, find out I don't find anything. And then I'll be going through some other time and it just happens to pop up something. Wow. I didn't know they had that on there. There's something wrong with the way they present the, uh, the stuff because I just happened to see that, uh, the mighty was back on. Anyway, I'll let you know what I think about this, uh, keyboard today. I thank you very much for uh, watching. 73's. That's ham radio for best regards.